Hello, everyone. The topic of today's uh, presentation is uh, evidence uh, in uh, MOT exam, right? So many times um, the candidates send me questions that, like, what are the examiner going to ask track questions that what is evidence to it? Uh, so as we know that it's a key based system, sometimes it's written in the key that they should tell two evidence, mostly that for growth modification, something like what sometimes for tests, like what, what is the failure rate for tests and what's evidence for this. But mostly the examiner do not ask you this question. And when the examiner asks you a question, uh, the maximum marks are for candidates uh, who tell the evidence, right? And not for every question there is evidence involved. Some questions are straightforward. Like, but if the examiner asks you that, how you diagnose that it's a convex profile, you might not need the evidence there, right? But if the examiner asks you that you have given a twin block and how you will advance the mandible, right, while taking the impression of the bite, in fact. So one way is that I will take the bite, like, but uh, in the maximum advancement, as to as relation. And the second thing is that I usually take the bite, uh, like, but this is a small object or this is a large object, and I will take the bite incrementally and according to Phil Banks' randomized clinical trial, 2004 published in EGDO, there's no difference between incremental and single advancement, right? So if you tell the reference, because when they ask this question versus, like a single versus, um, uh, single advancement versus incremental advancement, there's usually evidence involved. If you tell it, you get the maximum numbers. Also in June blog, they say that what are the skeletal versus dental effects? So one can say that these are 70 30, or the others can say that according to Cameron O'Brien randomized trial published in each video back in 2003, like, but this is 70 and 30, right? Again, uh, there's a question like, but if I keep myself to twin block, that what you will advise a patient full time or part time? So again, like, but I advise it full time because in our clinic it's full time. My supervisor recommends full time. The other way is that I do it full time, but according to Parik, uh, randomized clinical trial published in EGUDO 2019, there's no difference versus full time versus part time, right? So, in many questions, the examiner are not asking the evidence, but if you speak with the evidence, you get the maximum numbers. That is in the rubrics, right? So, another question. Like what, what to remember in evidence and what type of evidence to remember. So the type of evidence, mostly like what uh, people who guide you for the exam, they tell you that these are the evidence you have to remember. The rule of thumb is if there's a British evidence involved there, right, they're more bothered or concerned to listen to British evidence rather than a, uh, like what, a, U a USA or any other countries. Um, I give you examples like what, in bracket alteration, there's an article by Thicket and there's an article by uh, Neil Kravitz. So it's if it's by Kravitz, so they are not less bothered. But if it's by uh, Thicket, if you give the reference tickets, they will give you, uh, they will move forward and give you marks. If you say that uh, in growth modification, if they ask, if you tell them a reference by Biasil or Nelson or Gafari, might be, uh, they are less bothered. But if you say Cameron O'Brien, Phil Banks, Yakub, Free North, uh, they would be happy to hear that reference, right? So try to go for renowned journals like AGOTO, uh, like uh, like um, uh, European Journal of Orthodontics, Journal of uh, Orthodontics, rather than less renowned journals, right? Another question with the candidate asked that how to prepare for evidence, like what, what to tell and what not to tell. So it depends how much time you have. So I divide it like this. When you are trying to memorize evidence, first of all, memorize it. Like, but according to Kevin O'Brien, this is outcome, right? In the next go, when these are your own fingertips, in the next go, you would say, according to Kevin O'Brien, randomized clinical trial, these are the outcomes. So first the name and the outcomes, then name of the author and the outcomes. Then the randomized clinical trial, the type of study. Then if you do have time, go with the year, right? According to Kevin O'Brien, or Phil Banks, 2004, this is evidence, randomized clinical trial, right? According to Phil Banks, randomized clinical trial published in 2004, this is a evidence. And then the last thing, according to Phil Banks, randomized clinical trial published in EGTO 2004, 
this is evidence, right? So this is a way to go with evidence. Just go with first with the easy things or the main important things and then go with the less important things. So it depends how much time you have. It's like what highly you should know everything, but sometimes the candidate do not have such ample time for these things. I hope that could be useful. Thanks a lot.